guys and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever YouTube video so I thought I'd kick it off with a getting to know me sort of Q&A answers. I've got a few written down here, ones that I just googled and found online. <laughs> but yeah I thought that I'd answer a few questions about myself so you guys can get to know me. So here goes, here's the first question. What is your eye colour? My eye colour is blue. Scary movie or happy endings? Ugh, this is a tough one because I always think to myself it's a good idea to watch a scary film and I get to watch it and then halfway through I'm like this was a really really bad idea so I'm gonna go with happy endings on that one kind of like a good like romantic film like good nice happy ending so yeah happy endings all the way my favourite smells I think you know when it's been like really really warm and then it rains and that smell on like the tarmac like of the rain that's a really weird smell isn't it <laughs> and it's a really weird like one to have as your favourite but yeah I think yeah I think that's probably one of my favourite smells that will cut grass but that's loads of people's favourite smell I think so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the, the rain on the tarmac <laughs> What's the furthest you've ever been from home? The furthest I've probably been is, I'd say, New York. Um, I went there a few Christmases ago, had a really lovely time. Um, but yeah, that's probably the furthest I've ever been. I'd love to go to like Bali or Thailand one day. That's obviously a little bit further. And even further is Australia, which is definitely on my list. So yeah, but for now it's New York. What's your zodiac sign? Now, people that know me will definitely know my zodiac sign. I am a Gemini. Um, I guess you could say I have a split personality. Um, yeah, I I do I I sort of do believe in the whole astrology and and the star signs. Um, so yeah, I I think my sign fits me quite well. What are your hobbies? I love yoga. I'm you know a massive yoga buff. Like I practice pretty much every day um, at home, um, even when I go away, I'm always like scoping out places to do yoga. Um, I really, really enjoy it and I feel like it's a great way to exercise and just, yeah, keep like level-headed and zen and yeah, I really enjoy yoga, so that's my hobby. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. Um, my mum has two dogs. Um, she has a Rottweiler crossed with a Mastiff who is so soppy, so soft. He's the most amazing, loyal dog. He's so cute. Um, and she has a Staffy as well, Blue Staff. Um, but yeah, I don't have any pets myself. I would love a dog though. Um, but yeah, our house is kind of quite, quite small, so I'm not sure whether we would be able to get a dog just yet. But it's definitely something that I'd like to get for the future. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a little sister. Well, I say little sister, she's not little anymore. She's 28. No, that's not right. She's 27 nearly. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I have a little sister. Um, she'll always be little to me. Um, but yeah, she's actually like way taller than me. So yeah, I don't know if I can call her my little sister anymore. What do you want to be when you grow up? I feel like this is a question aimed at somebody a lot younger than me. Um, I am already a grown up <laughs> um, and I am a graphic designer. It's something that I've wanted to do for years um, and I really, you know, enjoy being like artistic and yeah, just creating like really cool, um, you know, projects and things. So yeah, I'm um, a graphic designer. How tall are you? <laughs> I am so short. I'm five foot one just, I think. I may even be like five foot, but I just kind of add the one on just to like make it a bit of a stretch. But yeah, I'm five foot one, so I'm like really, really short. <laughs> but I don't mind being short because, you know, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You can be short on days that you want to be short, or you can be tall on days that you want to be tall. Just put on a pair of heels and yeah, you can increase your height. So I don't really mind too much being short. Except from when I was a kid, I used to always get upset because I was never tall enough to go on the rides. Um, so yeah, that was 
no, that sucked growing up. <laughs> but it's kind of cool now, I don't mind it. What is the least favourite thing about yourself? Probably the fact that I can't cook that well. Um, I say I can't cook that well, it's more I have a massive lack of interest in cooking. Um, you know, I would love to be really, really good at it or have like really like loads of enthusiasm to, to cook, but I don't and I don't enjoy it. So yeah, that's probably my least favourite thing about myself. What is your favourite drink? My favourite drink? Honestly, like I know this is so boring, but it's water, like all the way, like fresh cold water is just I love it I drink water like all day every day um yeah probably it's like it's not even anything alcoholic or anything exciting but yeah I just love water how would you describe your fashion sense I would describe it as still learning <laughs> um I try and get loads of inspiration from like amazing youtubers instagrammers like you know i I do try and get a lot of inspiration from those um I don't really have like a style as such myself um I'm kind of not one of these that's naturally good at putting together clothing yeah i do I do sort of steal a few styles from people, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that um you know it just means that you know why not if if you're not you know that great at putting together outfits then you know that's why other people have their channels to help so yeah I'm definitely still learning with the whole styling thing <laughs> what phone do you have iPhone all the way Apple I love Apple products I have a Mac I have an Apple watch I have an iPhone I have an uh, iPad I completely forgot what that was called then. I have an iPad. Um, yeah, all the Apple products that there are, I pretty much have them. Um, we have Apple TV. Um, yeah, I love, love, love the iPhone and I don't think I would ever change to a different phone. There had to be something pretty amazing released. Like maybe in like way in the future, you know, in like 20 years time, they might release something like incredible that's not an Apple product or an iPhone, but for now, it's all about the iPhone for me. So three things that make you happy. First one, shopping. I love shopping, that makes me really happy. Shopping for anything really, shopping for clothes, shoes, handbags, even, I do quite enjoy food shopping, even though I don't love cooking, I quite enjoy food shopping as well. Um, yeah, so shopping makes me happy, travelling makes me really happy as well, I love to see loads of different countries, I love to travel around the world, um, you know, when I'm in like a nice warm place it makes me happy, even though the summer here this year has been amazing, so I can't really complain about that, um, but yeah, generally travelling makes me really happy. And then the third thing is probably chocolate. I really 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 love chocolate and being vegan it's quite it was quite hard um, when I turned vegan to try and find the vegan alternatives and it wasn't like the same as milk chocolate and I was like oh am I ever gonna find like you know nice chocolate again but there are now so many amazing vegan chocolate bars out there and just yeah or I, I do try and I'm not too bad at baking um, I don't like cooking but I'm not too bad at baking so I do try, tend to like try and bake some the odd sort of vegan treat which yeah tastes really good are you an extrovert or introvert I would definitely say introvert um, I'm not like really confident in social situations like at all um, I'm I really enjoy like spending time on my own whether that's like just you know browsing the web or watching a film or reading a book I really enjoy spending time on my own um, I do like going out socially um, you know with friends but yeah I'm definitely a stay at home in my PJs kind of girl um, you know reading a good book I, that's my happy place <laughs> Are you left-handed or right-handed? I am right-handed. I try to write with my left hand. I've tried so many times growing up and even like in my adult life, seeing if I can do it as an adult writing with my left hand. I, I cannot, I'm not ambidextrous at all. I can't write with my left hand. I can't do anything with my left hand really. Um, so yeah, I'm a right-handed right girl all the way. <laughs> Does your name have a special meaning? Not 
as far as I'm aware in terms of when my parents named me um, but I believe that my name means princess in Hebrew um, so yeah Sarah I think that means princess in Hebrew so yeah that's kind of a special meaning I guess and I am kind of a princess too if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be one of my favourite places I've ever visited is Malta. Um, I absolutely love it there. I love like the architecture, the history, the weather, like the people are so nice there. And it, you know, it is still quite close to here. If not Malta, then somewhere in Spain, just because the Spanish are great. I love Spain. The weather's great. And yeah, they have a lot of like vegan places there, really cool places, especially like Barcelona. We've been you know visited there a few times and yeah i really really like it there so spain or malta one of those <laughs> and what's your favorite thing to have for breakfast at the moment i'm loving um almond butter on toast with like sliced banana literally love that it's so nice and yeah i don't just eat that for breakfast but i could eat that for lunch and dinner too to be fair it's really really good and i'm enjoying it um i do sometimes switch it up and have cashew butter but yeah generally almond butter with sliced banana best thing that i can have for breakfast and what's your favorite gadget this is the last question my favorite gadget i don't know if it's classed as a gadget and this is like probably <laughs> a really lame one to pick but probably a selfie stick that's like so handy especially when you're on holiday and you like you know you're trying to get the whole scene in and you're trying to you know get the background in yeah probably a selfie stick they really come in handy when you're trying to get you know the instagrammable picture so yeah that's the getting to know me questions I don't know if you know me any better now, but hopefully you do, um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm planning on regular uploads, like every week, on different topics, but if you've got any topics at all that you want me to cover, just pop them in the comments below. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon.